This is the Monkey Feet, a unique device that lets you pick up dumbbells with your feet. And when you pick up dumbbells with your feet, you have a whole new world of exercise potential in front of you. But is that new world one that's practical or beneficial to a wide variety of individuals? Well, in this review, I'll be going over all that and more to help you know if this product is a good use of your money and who it's best suited for. So let's get to it. Hey everyone. All right, so the monkey feet. Now, as we get going here, timestamps are in the description if you wanna just jump around in this video. And I'll start things off by letting you know that I do not have any affiliation with Animal House Fitness, who is the company behind this product. And I purchased my monkey feet nearly a year ago with my own money. And since I've had my hands on it, or feet on it rather for that matter, for a decent length of time now, I'm comfortable giving my thoughts on this little device. So here we go. So out of respect of your time, let's do a quick overall verdict on my thoughts with the monkey feet. Then I'll unpack all the details pertaining to how I arrived at that conclusion thereafter if you want more information. And hey, if you appreciate that I'm giving you all the final results first, please consider hitting that like button. So at the end of the day, the monkey feet is a brilliant piece of equipment to have in your fitness arsenal. And its price is fairly reasonable and build quality isn't too bad. And the world of lower body exercises it affords you is outstanding meaning that its cost to benefit ratio is exceptional. And what's even better is that it has a place for athletic individuals and those brand new to exercise training. And it can even be used for injury prevention training, which we often call prehabilitation or prehab for short. And for many circumstances, it can even be a great adjunct to use for lower body rehabilitation following injury. Now, am I saying that it replaces all other pieces of fitness equipment? No, of course not. No, one piece of fitness equipment can never do such a thing. Rather, I'm saying it's an incredibly versatile tool that can complement and diversify your training or injury rehabilitation. And it can do this with only a couple of dumbbells. I've used the monkey feet on enough athletes as well as patients in the clinic to make me a big fan of what it offers. So as far as I'm concerned, it's money well spent as this little guy has a place at the fitness table for almost anyone who wants to do some resistance training exercises for their lower body. So the benefits of the monkey feet are likely quite obvious, but nonetheless, they're worth mentioning. For starters, hooking up a dumbbell to your foot can afford you a way to perform various lower body exercises and strengthen muscles that you can't quite do unless you have access to various other pieces of fitness equipment, many of which can only be found in a gym or are rather large and expensive pieces of equipment. So this means that you don't have to go to the gym to get some decent resistance training done for your legs. But if you still want to go to the gym, then this little thing is also small enough that it won't take up much space for you to toss it into your gym bag. So you toss it in your gym bag and you can take it to the gym as well and use it how you want. And of course, if you have a small home gym and you don't have a lot of equipment, then this thing will be your best friend. It will take up virtually no space at all and all you need are some lighter dumbbells. And believe me when I say that you likely won't be needing heavy dumbbells to use this thing. Now the average person likely won't need anything above 20 or 35 pounds tops. Now, if you do wanna try some unconventional exercises that are deceptively challenging and ones that not many people are doing with their monkey feet, you can check out my other videos on my channel where I'll show you how to perform them and reap their benefits. Now, at the time of recording this video, the monkey feet goes for around 80 US dollars. And while I've heard some people complain about the price, I actually feel it's pretty reasonable. And sure, the less expensive, the better, but what I'm not willing to say is that the monkey feet is overpriced. Now, I have no idea the cost involved with designing and manufacturing a product. And besides, the cost to benefit ratio is abundantly within the user's favor as you gain a highly portable piece of equipment that offers a nearly infinite number of lower body exercises in exchange for your dollars. So for this reason, I'm giving the price value four and a half stars out of five. In terms of the build quality of the monkey feet, I initially had a few reservations as the device is predominantly made of plastic but it's important to keep in mind that that's not necessarily a bad thing. I personally associate metal with more robustness or higher quality, but designing the monkey feet with more of a metal frame rather than a plastic one would likely only drive up the cost of the device while adding additional weight to the product. Now, keeping the monkey feet as light as possible affords the user a greater variety of exercises that they can perform, especially for those using it for rehabilitative purposes. Because as I said earlier, many of the exercises you can do with this thing don't require much weight at all. So I feel plastic is perfectly acceptable for this device. And for having my monkey feet now for a good length of time, it does seem to be holding up quite well. Now, the only issues I've had is that the ratchet sometimes acts up and fails to grip the teeth of the ankle strap. Now, usually it just takes a quick readjustment and it takes care of the problem, but it is a bit of a nuisance when it occurs. And I've heard of a few other people pointing out that they have the same issue as well. So I feel this is worth mentioning. 
but so long as you're not abusing this thing, it should hold up quite well for some time. So just be reasonable with it and it should serve you well. So for the overall quality value, I'm giving it another four and a half stars out of five. As a certified strength and conditioning specialist, I work with a number of athletes ranging from amateur up to professional levels. And when it comes to optimizing their performance and preventing injuries, I'm generally pretty good at finding weak points in their lower body, which is why it's always fun to hook up a monkey feet to their foot and have them perform an exercise that they believe will crush, only to become humbled by how imbalanced their muscles are from one side of their body to another, or by how quickly their muscles tire out when they otherwise shouldn't. Whether it's slower, generalized movements or faster, more sport specific movements, the monkey feet has served me well for training my athletes by optimizing their performance while reducing their likelihood of injury for their lower body. So for practicality with athletes, this thing gets five stars. As a physical therapist, the monkey feet has been an absolute treat to have for many of my patients, both athletes and non-athletes who are rehabbing and recovering from certain lower body injuries or conditions. Now, of course, the monkey feet isn't appropriate for every injury or condition, but when it is, I'm glad I have it. What makes it so great is that I can have patients perform their exercises as an eccentric movement or perform it as an isometric hold, again, depending on their stage of rehab and their overall needs. Combine this with the fact that the monkey feet will require accessory muscles to kick in to help stabilize the movement with many of the exercises that can be performed, and you have a nice functional addition to the exercise and overall rehab process. And when appropriate, I'll even combine it with other interventions, such as blood flow restriction training, as those two interventions really can go hand in hand with the right individual. So in case you can't tell, I'm quite the fan of the monkey feet. It's just too practical and too beneficial not to like. I like spending my money wisely, and with the few dollars I dropped to pick it up, I gained a piece of equipment I can use on a wide variety of individuals, including myself. Perhaps the only thing that I don't like about this simple but remarkable device is that I didn't think of it myself. So everyone, keep looking after yourselves, keep looking after one another, keep making great things happen, and I'll see you in the next video.